Okay, in this problem we're asked to verify that xy equals 0 defines a hypersurface in R2 at the point p equals 0, 1. So first let's just sketch a little graph of what xy equals 0 looks like in R2. Well, we know that x could be 0, so it's all points on on the x-axis, or y could equal 0. So we have all points on the y-axis. So it just makes up the xy-axis. And our point P is at 0, 1. And so we want to verify that um, xy equals 0, this, the two axes, um, creates a, a smooth hypersurface in R2 around this point. So we want to first show that um, we, can, we can produce, or we can verify this if we can show that there exists a smooth change of, local smooth change of coordinates around P. So nearby here, we, if we can produce some local change of coordinates from R2, R cross zero. So given any two points in R2, our function will take those two points and produce some coordinate in the real numbers and zero. So phi of xy for two points in R2 is some real number and zero. So we could write it like that. Using our given information, um, we want any point on this curve to go to some real number and zero. And the only thing we know about this curve is that x times y equals zero. But we were, we're looking for something to fill this coordinate or to take all points on xy to 0, on xy equals 0 to 0. So we can just let that second component be xy. Since given any xy on our curve, it will bring that to 0 as our second coordinate. Now we want to choose some other real number, or some other way of getting a real number as our first component. Um, so if we look at taking any subset, any open set, where it intersects with xy equals 0, it will produce around this point any subset. It could be big, it could be small. In this case, we've chosen it to be smaller than the x-axis. So we see that it produces an open interval on the y-axis. So if we chose our first component to be x, this would just take all of these po points to zero, which isn't, it's really, that would just be a function from phi from r2 to zero cross zero, unless it, unless of course it contained points on the x-axis, but we want it for every open interval of that point. But we see that y is changing there, so let's try defining our function as y comma xy. So in order to be a smooth hypersurface, not only do we want phi to be from R2 to R cross 0, but we want phi of P to be the origin. So if we let Y be the first component, when we plug in P to our function phi, we get one zero. So, but we want this to be taken to the origin, so we'll subtract one as well. So we see now that phi of p is the origin, so we have these first two requirements about our function phi 
met. And now we want to verify that it's a smooth local change of coordinates. So we'll do so by um, proving that the total derivative of phi at p is a bijection. So it has an inverse with respect to some points a, b. So we can take the total derivative of phi at p in a normal way. We'll take the gradient vector. We'll let this be some point u, v. So the gradient vector of u at p is going to be the partial derivative of u with respect to x, which is 0, and the partial derivative of u with respect to y, which is 1. And the gradient vector of u at p, or of v at p, rather, is going to be the partial derivative of v with respect to x, which is y, and the partial derivative of v with respect to y, which is x. And we want to evaluate that at p, where p is 0, 1. So So we get that the gradient vector of v at p is 1, 0. And the gradient vector of u at p is 0, 1. So we know then that the total derivative of phi at p with respect to a, b is our gradient vector of u at p with respect to a, b, or dotted with a, b, sorry. And the second component is the gradient vector of v at p dotted with a, b. We can compute the dot product. And we see that the total derivative of phi at p with respect to a, b is b, a. So clearly that's a smooth, func uh, infinitely differentiable function. So phi is invertible. So we know that that the inverse of the total derivative of phi at p is defined, and phi is a bijection, which proves that um, we have a smooth local change of coordinates, and, or that phi is a smooth local change of coordinates. So we've shown that we've produced a phi, or a function phi, that takes r2 to r cross 0 for all points x, y equals 0. And phi of p is equal to 0, so is a smooth change of coordinates. So that, that verifies that our function x, y equals 0 is a smooth hypersurface in R2.